I do believe that it's important to have a department that's representative of the community it serves, and we have made significant efforts in an, in an attempt to recruit minor, minority officers within the department. You know, we had a police officer exam in November of 2013, and earlier that year we began an aggressive recruitment campaign, and we reached out to community groups, and they asked for their help in getting the word out and helping us to recruit individuals to take the exam. We reached out to groups like the NAACP, the YMCA, the YWCA, the Yonkers Guardians, Westchester Guardians, I forget the school name of the yes. and, and asked for your help. Um, law, Hispanic Law Enforcement Officers Association and other groups. We've had extensive social media outreach, media releases, paid advertising, videos, and, and, and we, we've had success in getting the, the minority population have to take the exam, and for the first time, the percentages of, of the breakdown of the individual that took the exam was representative of the community. But then, when you have the results of the exam, it's difficult to stay within civil service guidelines when you're trying to hire. I can tell you that when I became commissioner uh, three years ago, there were 24 black officers, and today there were 30. So, I mean, that's a 25% increase, and every opportunity that I had to hire a <coughs> minority officer, I took advantage of. You know, we have uh, civil service guidelines that we have to work within the rules and regulations of the guidelines. And um, again, we have made efforts to try to reach out to the community in our efforts to recruit, and when we have the opportunity to hire uh, officers from the community. I have a question. How many of those officers are in the supervisory position? Uh, two. Okay. I, I, except one of them is, is, is here this evening. And um, in November, our, our, our sergeant's list was about to expire. And we had three vacancies. We, we hired two over in an effort to appoint a minority supervisor with the support of the mayor. We were able to do that and hire. So I, I do make efforts when I have the opportunity to do that. I have a question as well. Have you gone to college campuses and let people who probably would do very well on a civil service exam know that you're hiring? We've reached out to colleges. Um, we went to um, businesses throughout the city. We had advertisements on buses, bus depots. We, we reached to the, to the clergy. We really made a sincere effort to recruit people to take the exam. We have offered classes on, on preparation for the exam free of charge to Yonkers residents. And, and, and I believe we made an honest effort to recruit and, and retain and hire when I can within the law representatives from the community. Is there a break, I'm sorry, is there a breakdown? I know maybe it's not you know, appropriate based upon you know, um, standards of confidentiality or discrimination, but can you, do you have any numbers to suggest how many white officers, white um, 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 citizens took the test versus People of color? Uh, the statistics we, we got from the human resources regarding the exam, the police officer entrance exam, were that um, the applications were approximately 36% white, 43% Hispanic, 17% black, and 4% color. Now, you, by law, I don't believe that, that it's required to put your race on the application. No, it's not, it's but, optional, but, right, it's optional, but, I, but our estimates from our human resources gave us those numbers. Uh, I, I'd like to. I'd like to say something. Briefly, um, Mr. Jones. Yes, we'll. Real, real <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we, we have to understand. When, when we're looking at recruiting um, uh, African American males and females. We are going against a culture that really don't want the job because of their experiences or their parents' experiences um, in, in dealing with law enforcement. I've been to forums when grown people, adults, parents, are saying that they don't want their children to be a part of law enforcement. So, and, and, and also, um, to the credit of the commissioner, he is trying over years of not having that type of outreach in the Yonkers community, or Westchester, or, or, or Westchester itself. You know, my wife is a detective, I'm a correctional officer, we have two children, they want no parts of law enforcement. Because of what they experienced, I had to go down to the 67th precinct and uh, deal with something with my daughter. So, you know, 
young young children that are able to take the test, they don't want the job. So we have to change what the job is to young black men and women. We have to change it. But it goes back, again, it goes back to accountability because if they don't see the, the type of accountability, then they don't want to be a part of it. So what they're doing and the numbers that that they're doing it with is good and we have to continue to do it so more for so more kids will want to take the test. You know, and, and, and I think it's, it's, it's it goes back to dialogue, it's going back it goes back to being in the community and it goes back to them seeing a different type of, of policing in their community that they want to be a part of a, of of an occupation or, or a career that you could really take care of your take care of your family. Okay. I have a question for